Hello, it's the Risky Chicks here, Abby and Caitlin. We have some very exciting news for our sales team today. We have Matt Parziali joining us. He will be the newest member of our sales team. We're really excited to have you. He is such an avid golfer, so to kick off this video, we're going to ask, what was your most nerve-wracking swing so far in your golf career? Yeah, well, first, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here and very excited for this new opportunity. So, uh, yeah, but uh, I've, I've obviously played a bunch of golf in my uh, in my career, in my life. I played professionally for a little bit. And now, heard, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very so it's cool. Been fun. It's uh, kind of the only thing that keeps me going. So, mm -hmm. um, I've competed at a lot of different levels. And uh, I've, I've played in a lot of tournaments, I've had a lot of nerve-wracking swings, but um, one that was pretty cool was I was able to play a practice round with Tiger Woods at the Masters. And it was different nerves, it wasn't, Casual, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, wasn't uh, it wasn't the same nerves as trying to win a tournament or mm -hmm. trying to hit a shot under pressure. It was, uh, this is the guy that I looked up to my entire life. And, and He's watching get, you take a swing now. And we get on the first tee, he says, yeah. alright Matt, let it rip. And I didn't, it, it didn't go too well. But he was, uh, he was fantastic to play with. He was trying to help me the whole way. And this was the year before he won, so it was his first Masters back after his back surgery. So oh, wow. uh, he was very kind to me and uh, did all he could to, to give me the best chance, even though it didn't go as well as I would have hoped once the tournament started the next day. Mm -hmm. so, that is so cool. That's so cool. Fan rolling into Yeah, this was a lot of fun. So what was your best and worst round with the U.S. Open champion in the past? Oh, man. So uh, I've actually been, able, I've been fortunate enough to play with... Uh, a few people have won the US Open, Tiger being one of them, Rory had won, I, I was able to play a practice round with Rory that same week That's at the cool. Masters, so yeah. um, the worst round with the US Open champion, I actually played with him when he won the US Open, and that was Dave Portnoy from Barstool Sports. <laughs> so, I, was there I, the, love it. <laughs> I was there the day he won the US Open at Shinnecock, um, he said he shot 66, I, he probably hit 66 shots on the first hole we played, <laughs> but for the rules he made, he was... <laughs> For the rules he made, he was the winner, and he did win the bet that was that was put in front of him, and it was very impressive to watch because he was he had no quitting him, so that was a lot of fun. Wow! Um, Wasn't it like unlimited strokes or something? Exactly. <laughs> so why, yeah, I think he had sixty six shots in the first hole. So um, that's hilarious. No, he was that. a great guy. He was fun to talk to. We had a blast, and uh, I still chat with him once in a while. So awesome. He's a, he's a good friend. Yeah. Cool. So, that's that's great. Yeah. And then the best one, I mean, it's probably, it's got to be Tiger or Rory. Um, mm -hmm. Just those practice rounds uh, were pretty special to play with two of the, um, I mean, obviously Tiger had been around a lot longer than Rory, and, I, and I, I started playing golf because of Tiger Woods, but seeing Rory come along when I was in college just after right. and see what he did on the scene was, was pretty fun. So, yeah, okay. those guys are great to play with. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like whenever I turn the TV on, those are the first two names I see. When like I the golf channel, I know, basically. <laughs> yeah. Love that. So, so, what are two of your favorite career moments that you've had with your dad? Yeah, so I've been very fortunate to have my dad um, caddy for me in a lot of the events that I play. Um, and it started on local level, mm -hmm. playing here in uh, the state am, uh, state open, those kind of things, and then uh, I've had the success to get up the national level and, and play in a few majors. So uh, to have him with me pretty much every step of the way for every important shot I've hit, it's it's been fun. Um, we have a great relationship out there. We have a blast. And um, before I got into the insurance industry, I was a firefighter, and my dad was a firefighter for 32 years in Brockton. He retired four or five years ago now. So I have one story. It was, it's probably the best moment of his life, and then the story that uh, was probably the best moment of my life was in the fire world, and the one with his was the golf world. So two good stories. So the first one being uh, the U.S. Mid-Am, which gave me the opportunity to, to play in these majors, mm -hmm. uh, the Masters, U.S. Open. He caddied for me, and uh, that was just a really cool week, really cool day to have him there with me. It's something that... Um, we both thought that it was attainable, but uh, it was going to be a long, long way. And to get to, there, yeah. yeah. To be able to do it that year and to have him there, um, that was that was really special yeah, to, to be able to share that with him. Quite the experience, yeah. <laughs> and that also led to the U.S. Open, where I was able to make the cut and he caddied for me on Father's Day. So wow, oh yeah, my so God, on Father's Day of all days too. Yeah, so it was pretty cool for both yeah, of us. Very yeah, very special. Yeah, so um, we we had a lot of attention and. Uh, that was fun, but the best story that uh, I have in the firefighting world is before he retired, they don't put family members in the same groups, and I was working overtime in his group, and we got a house fire, and the part of, part of the city that I was working on, so I was there first with, with the truck, obviously, yeah. and um, we I kind of screwed up early, 
and it wasn't a, it wasn't a big fire, but it, it turned. It was a year we had a bunch of snow, so we couldn't okay. find the fire hydrants. And sure enough, he came. I heard him call off on the radio that he was there, and I just rolled my eyes. I'm like, oh no, I, I screwed this up. And sure enough, he came in and fixed it. So oh, that's a good story. <laughs> I came in to save the day. Yeah, it's pretty much what uh, my whole life is. So, um, nice. Yeah, to have that those two moments with him were pretty special, and it was a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. So how did you get into golfing in the first place? Did your dad golf as well, or he did. He okay. uh, he introduced me to very young age um, okay. and we just started hitting balls together and then started playing uh, at our local public course mm -hmm. together and then um, yeah just never we both love it and it's kind of what brought us together and why we have such a good relationship now. yeah awesome yeah. it's an addicting sport once you start to feel like you're getting good at it you just want to get better and better and better and then clearly mm -hmm. you made it to the masters so <laughs> yeah you're like wow I'm pretty good at this yeah well I actually tell that to everyone I could don't get hooked because it can control your yeah, life so, it's, okay. um, it's been it's been very it's been a great thing that I've been able to experience, yeah. but there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of uh, frustrating times, mm, but I wouldn't yeah. trade it for the world. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so from golf, how did you then get into the insurance business? Yeah, so when I uh, when I won the US Mid-Am in 2017, I was still a firefighter, and um, I actually went back to work for about a month or so, mm -hmm. and I was getting my body, you always, your body gets pretty beat up, and then to have to play the Masters that next spring, I was like, I don't want to get hurt, and so I took a leave of absence okay. and started meeting some people early 2018 um, that wanted to introduce me to some people that might be able to have a different career, a different industry. Yeah, looking for a change. Yeah, yeah. just some options, and uh, don't get me wrong, I love being a firefighter. It was, I mean, it was the best job I could ever imagine, but um, like I said, your body gets beat up. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. There's a lot of risks that go in, and uh, there's, a, there's a cancer scare at the... With, in that industry, that um, right. it's it's there, it's more aware now than it used to be, but it's mm -hmm. a, it's a real thing. So yeah. um, more of a quality of life reason. So I met I met some people in different industries, and uh, I chose insurance because I, I um, it was just the the path I thought that was best for me at the time. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the decision, and very happy to continue that career here at Delane Gibson. Yeah. Even though firefighters and insurance don't go together, <laughs> fires and insurance go together. So I can kind of see how it relates a little bit with risk like, management. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so this is our favorite question that we ask everybody that starts here. What is your go-to karaoke song? Jeez. So uh, I've only done karaoke twice, and they're both horrible. <laughs> <laughs> my, I was just started dating my wife, and I was like, all right, well, I just gotta. I gotta go for it. She told me to do it. So I, did, <laughs> I did Fast Cars by Tracy Chapman. And it was because the only thing I could think of at the time, and it was a terrible. Thank God we're at the smallest little bar in New Hampshire. No there was only sure, six right? people there, maybe. And uh, I guess that has to be my favorite because it was the only one. The other one, I don't remember the song. Okay, so well, we'll that's it, good. We'll leave it there. <laughs> it's for the best. <laughs> it's for the best. And it was a yeah. group of us, and it was one of those nights. It, that was a lot of hand, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Some of the best nights, honestly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So That's it was awesome. A, it was a good time. Good. Yeah. Thanks maybe, for maybe the three of us will do karaoke at some point. I I've never done karaoke before. Do you do karaoke? It's something I want to do, and I think about like what song would I sing if our office did like karaoke night. I think we have to do it. So now they said the three of us have to find. We have to do yeah. karaoke. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That'd be great. It's really fun. I'm down. So <laughs> what can go wrong? Awesome. Well, thank you, Matt. We're super excited to have yeah. you join the team at DG. Yeah. Thank you. I'm more excited. So this will be fun. Awesome.